apparently they're, uh, they've scheduled, they'll dump a number of rides in a uh, half hour period, all at the start of that period. We'll say that I want a K to be picked up at 10 o'clock. Well, the driver gets there and he's got a list of people, maybe four, three or four, who have, have a 10 o'clock pickup time. Well, of course, that's impossible. But they're all picked, supposed to be picked up in that half hour period. But what does that do to the people who are waiting for the ride? They're there at 10 o'clock and the bus isn't going to get there until 10.30. If they don't have the, uh, uh, if they don't check in, they're not going to know that. If the uh, person that answers the phone gives them the right, correct information. I've had them give me wrong information just to get me out, out for them. Uh, out of their system. But uh, Kay got here at about 11.15. That's an hour and a half after the scheduled 9.45 pickup. So I asked the driver if he had more than one to be picked up at that time. He said yes. So and the other day, the two or three days running, I've asked drivers and they've got several all at the same time. So they're dumping them all at, in a, a certain window but at the start of the window. It, to me, it does make sense because, you know, you're getting sick people. The drivers and these people will have to take rest stops, for instance. Uh, it's uh, crazy on how they're, this guy running this thing is so determined to get on time performance, which means nothing as far as, uh, absolutely nothing for satisfaction, you may have a caregiver attending one of the riders. Now that caregiver is tied up for an extra half hour, 45 minutes or even longer because the, uh, he didn't uh, know that the bus wasn't going to be a half hour late and get delivered maybe an hour and a half later. So this is absolutely uh, <laughs> someone's being uh, you can bet his boss is the one that he's aiming at. But he doesn't aim at the people who have to ride the bus. They're not uh, fooled. Because Kay was on that, waited, tied up for an hour and a half before she ever got over here. And of course I was tied up for an hour and a half too. But in this particular case, I could have called in, but I didn't. I just thought I'd let it go. Well, I got Kay down for the 3 p.m. pickup. I didn't have time to call, or I called, but they didn't answer. And so I had to uh, get her down over to the elevator and down to be sure I wasn't late. I got down there just going to, so I did call and I found out that it wasn't going to be there till 326, which is the last minute or so, of course, of the window that, there's, that this guy Wheaton is so, uh, determined to meet and uh, sure enough it was on time again that was really surprising because that it rarely happens generally something affects the bus somewhere and he didn't always make it there anyway so we had to cool our heels I took her in and showed her the rec room and brought her back we sat down and we just waited for the bus we held hands she likes to hold hands and the bus drivers are so kind. I'm really impressed with their kindness. Anyway, she headed back. I don't know how many stops she had to make before she get there. I forgot to ask them. She may not get there at all 4.30 for all I know.